The greatest hope in our belief in the Lord is in His coming and rapturing us into the kingdom of heaven. The path into the kingdom of heaven is one of suffering, accompanied by all kinds of coercion, tribulations. Stand still! Stand still! Brother, hurry up! Okay. Mr. Chen, schools are the party's front lines in education. They are atheist zones. If you choose to worship God, then we will have to dismiss you from civil service. Humans were made by God, so they should believe in Him and worship Him. This is an unalterable truth. You lost your source of income because of your belief in the Lord. How are you going to make a living from now on? Stand up! You can't come in here! This time, I'm determined to put you locked in prison. Lord, I hope you return soon and save us from this dark world. Almighty God has come and expressed all the truths to purify and save mankind doing the work of judgment in the last days. If the Lord really had returned, he should have done so with great glory while descending upon a cloud. These prophecies mention the Lord's returning as a thief, the coming of the Son of Man, and they mention that he speaks to people while knocking at the door and so on. Doesn't this show that when it comes to the Lord's return, besides his public descent upon a cloud, he also will descend in secret ways? A secret descent? After God descends in secret and makes this group of overcomers, his great work will be complete. After that, he will descend on a cloud and appear to all nations and peoples. Almighty God says, the return of Jesus is a great salvation for those who are capable of accepting the truth. But for those who are unable to accept the truth, it is a sign of condemnation. I never imagined that the Lord had already returned in the flesh and expressed truths, doing the work of judgment in the last days. I never sought or examined this, so I ended up hoping for his return, but actually denying the Lord, rejecting him. The Lord Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. His voice doesn't refer to the way his voice sounds, but it refers to God's utterances, the truth that he speaks. Apparently to seek God's appearance and work, we had to actively seek the truth and seek out God's voice. Amen. Let's read more of Almighty God's words. Everyone listen. I shall work upon the entire universe, and I shall perform great work, revealing all my glory and all my deeds to men in the last days. I shall show my glorious countenance in its fullness to those who have waited many years for me. Almighty God's words are so stirring. It is God's voice. Amen. <laughs> 2,000 years ago, the Lord Jesus said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. The Lord Jesus has returned. Our hopes for many years as believers in the Lord have materialized. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.